to, wow, we need to really pay attention. Our boys are failing and we make our boys wrong so much of the time. So really becoming an advocate and helping parents and teachers become aware of, you know, this is boys and we need to be able to meet them where they are, not try to overlay our feminine um, way of communicating and, you know, just even as as basic as just making eye contact, that's not so comfortable for boys and for many men. If you ask them, they'll say, yeah, yeah, you know, I can hear you better if I don't have to look at you. But, you know, like us, and we we're love, like, like I just that's so look at your eyes. <laughs> and that gives us that you, we get a hit of oxytocin. We get a hit of that feel good hormone when we make eye contact. So we, we, you know, we overlay that onto our boys and to our men and think, you know, well, does he not like me? Is there something wrong with me? And we take it personally that he doesn't want to look at us. But even that simple shift of just knowing, oh, okay, he's not, that's not his comfort zone. That's not pleasurable for him, for many. I mean, for some, absolutely it is. But, um, Oh, so if I sit side by side with my son and we're doing something with our hands, it will ease his words, his flow of communication. And I, you know, I can adjust my expectations and be comfortable sitting and not having that eye contact. So that's just a really simple thing that we can all kind of start paying attention to and noticing. (music) 